Welcome to IS Tech. Today, we are doing a deep dive into one of the most talked about debates in web development, REST API versus GraphQL. If you are building web or mobile apps, chances are you need to fetch data from a server, but how you do it can drastically affect performance, flexibility, and even developer happiness. REST or Representational State Transfer was introduced by Roy Fielding in his 2000 doctoral dissertation. It quickly became the dominant model for building APIs on the web. REST treats data as resources. Each resource has a unique URL and you interact using standard HTTP methods like git, post, put and delete. For example, to fetch a user's profile, you'd hit a URL like slash API slash users slash 123. Sounds simple, right? Well, not always. REST APIs can often lead to overfetching or underfetching of data. Imagine you want to fetch a blog post, but you also need the author's name, their avatar, and the number of likes. With REST, you might need to call three different endpoints. This is where REST begins to feel rigid. GraphQL was developed by Facebook in 2012 and released publicly in 2015. It flips the REST model on its head. With GraphQL, there's only one endpoint. You send a query describing exactly what you need and get only that back. It's like walking into a restaurant and ordering from a menu instead of accepting a random buffet. This means fewer requests, less data and faster performance on complex UIs. Let's say you're building a social media app. On the homepage, you need posts with the author name, comment count and like status. In REST, you'd make at least three API calls. In GraphQL, one query does it all. So is GraphQL always better? Not quite. Let's compare. REST is easy to cache using HTTP, simple for standard CRUD, great with browser-based tools like Postman. GraphQL is flexible and powerful, reduces overfetching, ideal for fast moving front ends, but it has challenges. GraphQL doesn't support traditional caching easily and writing complex queries can be tricky for beginners. Use REST when you want simple, cacheable APIs. Your data model is flat. You're working on public APIs. Use GraphQL when you, you have complex UI requirements. You want flexible data fetching. Your team iterates frequently. In the end, it's not a war. It's about choosing the right tool for the job. REST and GraphQL both have a place in modern development. Now you know the key differences, strengths and ideal use cases. Which one do you prefer? Tell us in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell. This is IS Tech, where we make complex tech simple and visual.